I do. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to another episode of Talking Top Tier. I am your host, always doing the most. They call me Tone the Boss. Let's go. We got a couple special guests in the building. It's about to go down all the way from Des Moines. We got Lex and Louie. What's good, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? How you feeling? How you feeling? Bless. How was the drive out here? This is your first time coming to see the Rapids? Man, the drive was long. All I saw was cows. <laughs> I saw cows, cows and out, corn. Cows outside, and it's snowing. Like, right. Why y'all outside? They they need to put a fur on. <laughs> <laughs> like, you gonna see a cow with a chinchilla right, out here? <laughs> Louie, how you feeling? How you feeling? Shit, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm just chilling right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have you been on podcast before? I think I did one. Okay. But okay. It was like, a little different, like, you okay. know, on the spectrum. If you okay, think. okay. Yeah, I do. I like to do things a bit different. Yeah. I like to have fun. Yeah. I like to keep the energy going. And, uh, you know, we're going to have fun in this episode. So I hope y'all ready for that. Uh, mm-hmm. So I'm familiar with y'all. Uh, Lex, when did we first work together? Was it, we did a show with Henry. Mm, Which one was it? I think that was the Halloween bash. Yeah. No, 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 no we no, did no, one we before did, that. In the Summer Jam. Yep. yep. What, what, what was, was the, dang. That was in, uh. It was last year. Yes. It was last year for sure. Yeah, it wasn't in Cedar Rap. I think, was that one like a Marshalltown one? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think so. We definitely had to talk in Marshalltown. Yeah. That was crazy. That was like, the first time I met bro, you. Bro, I, I didn't expect Marshalltown to do that. Because, like, if you think Cedar Rap is a small, Marshalltown is like one block. <laughs> I was looking around. I get so confused when I go out to these different cities. When I step outside of Des Moines, I'm mm-hmm. like, what is going on? <laughs> People live here? Right. It's, what is going on? This is, it looks extinct. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so when Henry hooked, uh, hit me up to book uh, the Marshalltown show, I'm like, bro, ain't nobody coming out to Marshalltown. So then we get to the venue. I'm set up. I think he had me set up at like eight. And I had to tell him, like, even in, like, Cedar Rapids or Des Moines, people don't come out to, like, right. 10 or 11. Man, it was empty until, like, 1130 midnight, and then it was packed. And then people start flooding in. That shit was crazy. Like, so I, on top of everything else I do, uh, one of my most important jobs right now is being a promoter. My heart would have been beating out my chest, like, <laughs> come on, y'all. Where y'all at? I've been blowing people up. Like that, the crowd be <laughs> scarce at first, you yeah. know, like. It's, that's just the thing with Iowa and what I'm learning with mm-hmm. it. Like you never, you never know how you're going to get the people to come out. But exactly. when they come out, they, they come, come deep. out. They like, come deep. It's crazy. It like I be like in a maze sometimes because yeah. I'm like, damn, all these people, y'all live here. Yeah, and we we went over it before we started the podcast, but let me bring them up to date. Uh, where are you originally from, and when did you get to Iowa? Well, I'm originally from Trent, New Jersey. Hey. I moved here from Atlanta, Georgia. I've been in Iowa now for going on three years. Okay. So, okay. you know, like, I'm just trying to bring that city life out here. Like, yeah. I, I feel like Iowa don't really have too much excitement. Nah, you know, it it's don't. just like, uh, we, we live in our life. We going to work. We making our money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's money to be made here, but why we can't have fun doing it? Like, why exactly. we can't just all come together and do something big, something great, yep. you know, like everybody can benefit from and it'll take us a long way. Yep, exactly. That's actually what got me into what I do with the T1 Entertainment is, uh, you know, I, I actually had moved to Atlanta at one point in my career at, when I was just an artist. And I went there for opportunities. And I just explained this in other podcasts, so I'll keep it short. But basically, I was saying how Iowa doesn't have anything and somebody should do something. A quote I try to say in all my episodes is, I used to say somebody should do something, then I realized I am somebody. Right. So at right. that point, it was time to step up. And we're trying to make an Iowa music scene, an yep. Iowa music industry. Uh, you're playing a big role in that. Let me get to Louie real quick. Louie, yeah. y- y- y'all both uh, East Coast? Basically, Basically, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Where are you originally from? So I was originally from Philly. Forgot the fucking town. Because it's been so long, because yeah. I've been in Iowa for like almost like seven years now. Uh-huh. So it's just like, 
I basically say I'm from Iowa, but I feel like I'm from Philly. Okay. We doing ages? Can I, can I know how old y'all is? Okay. 21. 21? Yeah. Hey, can you do something <laughs> for me? <laughs> I'm 29. Okay. And I just hit 29 okay. on the 8th of February. So. Okay. All right. Next year, we uh, we going to turn up for the Dirty 30. Oh, you yeah, already definitely. know. We going to throw something big for that. <laughs> That's what's up. So then uh, how'd y'all get started in the music? Uh, let's start with Louie. So I was just in high school, and it was, like, around that time where just a bunch of, like, you know, those underground rappers was blowing up. Mm-hmm. And, like, we was just riding around. We'd just be in the car rapping and shit. And, then like, I finally just, like, stepped up and, like, went into my, like, my bro's shitty recording studio, mm-hmm. made a couple songs. They were trash. We, we all start in a shitty studio. Like <laughs> exactly. that's, if you don't start in a shitty studio, like you, you can't be a real artist. You can't just come to a place like this and be like, yeah. oh, because you going to think you yeah. made it. You ain't going to try to get better. <laughs> <laughs> when you hungry in that shitty studio, it's like, bro, we got to get about this. I got to I gotta write the best shit I can ever do. <laughs> like, I know my shit can sound good. <laughs> <You know? Exactly. laughs> so then from there, I just went, I just, I think I spent like $1,000. I just bought recording equipment and nice. started recording for my own. Nice, nice. So uh, it started in high school, so about yeah. four or five years now in the music? Yeah. That's what's up, that's what's up. But, like, I wasn't dropping music. I was just keep it to myself. So okay, like, okay. Two years ago, that's when I started dropping You kind of, you honing your craft. That's yeah. like the, uh, in the animes, it'd be like the training art, the <laughs> yeah. little montage of you putting in the work, <laughs> yeah. you know, but it's not for, you ain't ready to fight yet, yeah. but <laughs> you putting in the work. Okay, He's okay. definitely doing that. Too. Lex. Management. Management. How did that come about? Man, to be honest with you, Tone, like, I just, I love music. Mm -hmm. You know, like, in high school, even, we could take it back to elementary school. Like, I was in my own little rap group. Yeah. You know, like, I I used to do shit like that. Like, I used to fuck around with the music, but I sat down and I really thought about it. Like, I don't want to be on the stage. You yeah. know, like, I don't want to be doing that, but I know I got, like, an ear for music. Like, yeah. you know, I know I got a gift for this. I could hear a song and be like, that's a hit. Like, yeah. That's yep. a hit. Like, you need to keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. When I heard him, I'm like, bro, you got something, especially yeah. for you to be from Des Moines. Mm-hmm. You got something. Yeah. So, like, really, Born Legends came about. It's been, It's been in the process for, like, seven years yeah but i finally was like all right i need to buckle down and do this like, yeah so going on almost two years now nice you know, almost two years where the name come from born legends i what just feel like we we are okay that's crazy that's crazy because i just told them this story <laughs> okay. on the way over hey, here perfect but a lot of things like I like to let people in a little bit on on like my life so mm-hmm. people understand what type of person I am. Yep. Everybody has been through their own trials and tribulations. Yeah. During my trials and tribulations, which was my incarceration, mm-hmm. is where I came up with the idea of Born Legends. Okay. I was sitting down, eating my little zoom zooms and wham whams. <laughs> yeah. And Empire came on. Okay. Empire came on. I was like, Bruh, I'm going to be a Lucius Lion. Hey. I, I ain't going to be as greasy as <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, exactly. But I'm going to be a Lucius Lion because yeah. it's like what he was doing was yeah. so big. It's yeah, like he exactly. did something big. Like yeah. he had a good foundation. If you take all the drama and all the extraness out yeah. of it, like, you get what I'm saying? So I always felt like, have you watched Hustle and Flow? Yes. I always yes. felt like Empire was like the sequel, like yes. like a, a loosely written sequel. Like he started his music, it started to take off, and then he got locked up. And then he came out and built the and empire. Right, like, yeah. So that's dope. Like, you got the inspiration from that while you was going through your situation. And, like, you could just see the potential because that, that is a, a, based on real stories. Like, yeah. that does happen. Uh, you know, we all have to go through our trials and tribulations to come out on top. Exactly. Like, it, you, if you don't go through the struggle, you're not going to see the progress. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and it get hard sometimes, you know. Man, like, it gets discouraging sometimes. Like, this shit... This shit ain't for the week. <laughs> hey, like, like, how long you been doing this, Tom? Man, I've been doing music for 20 years, and then I did uh, T1 Entertainment five years ago. So okay. basically, five years ago, I settled down. I had a wife, kids, bought a house, and uh, I basically felt like I retired from rap. At that point, I was 30. I'm like, all right, I'm too old to be trying to make yeah. it as a rapper. Let me sit my ass down. But I learned so much, like... I learned, honestly, the most about music from the six months I lived in Atlanta. Okay. And I felt like I learned so much, built so many contacts that it'd be a waste if I didn't do something with it and give right. back. 
Um, right. You know, when I was 15 doing music, uh, a dude took us under his wing and gave us free studio time, free beats, and that kept us out of the streets and out of doing, you know, stupid shit. Uh, so I felt like the way the universe works is it gives you an opportunity to give back and everything comes full circle. Right. So at that point, I wanted to not only manage other artists, help them go the right way, not make the mistakes that I made, uh, but also we started a nonprofit organization and we've done everything from back to school giveaways, school uh neighborhood cleanups, uh, free food, after school programs, uh, dope, all man. the above just to kind of give back full circle. Uh, but what got me back into rapping, uh, I actually, I, I basically lost everything. Like it was that trial and tribulation, but I went through a divorce. I sold the house. Uh, my grandma had passed away. Like all these bad things like happened in the span of, th of those couple years. And, uh, I just needed to talk about it. So like you said, you, when you did the music just for you, yeah. I recorded this album called Antonio and it was never supposed to be released. Yeah. But I got friends that like knew that I was going through shit so they right. would just pop up. And one of them popped up while I was making one of my records and that record ended up getting like over 100,000 streams because he like forced me to release it pretty yeah. much. Uh, we did another song that was like a rap rock song and that ended up on Say Cheese and that blew up. And then after that, I kind of stopped pushing the album and started back helping other artists. Yeah. And out of nowhere, uh, the WNBA and the actual NBA, the Golden State Warriors, picked up another one of my songs, Give Me My Ring, right. that was on that album. So it's like, at that point, okay, I got to do this. Right, like, right, I got to get back right. in there. Like, I'm, I'm getting, it's too many blessings <laughs> yeah. around me. It's something that I try to put on pause yep. and put on ice. So exactly. we need to tap more into that. What's craziest to me is, like, none of that stuff happens without me going through the bad. Right. Like, you have to you go have through to. that bad, to, through the trials to. and tribulations, or the good don't come out. And it always happens for a reason. Yep. Every single time, it happens for a reason, and, and it ends up paying off somehow. So, uh, you know, I don't know if you had your bad yet. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had but, some bad. Okay, yeah, but if, if it does happen, I promise you, don't get discouraged. Yeah. Know that this is part of the process. Because, like, when I fuck... <laughs> Where I first started fucking with Lux, like, bro, I used to say this shit, like, I'm fighting demons right now. That's yeah. all I would say to Lux. And yeah. she'd just be like, damn, bro. That's we, part we of gonna, the journey. We're going to make it happen. We're going to get bro. through it. We're going to get through it. Yeah. You got to. You got to. You got, got to. to. Like, when you got pure talent and mm -hmm. a gift, like, you can't let that go to waste. Yep. You can't, like, yep. what do you think God gave it to you for? For exactly. you to just sit around and, like, make it for you know what you're doing can touch somebody in Asia. You don't yep. know. Like, exactly. you got to use your voice. Yep. And the most, I think, thing that I found crucial is, like, management. Like, when we lived in Atlanta, we got offered management so much and kept turning it down. Yeah. And then we end up doing everything ourselves, and then we end up fighting within the group. We end up getting discouraged because, like, we're constantly or – we couldn't just be artists. Right. So that's what got me into management is, like, bro – I need to let people just be artists just and be enjoy an their artist. art yep. because we have to do so much more. Like just being an artist is like impossible nowadays. And I make it possible for everybody that I work with. So like management is super important. It, it, is. <laughs> it is. And it's like one thing, especially with born legends being fairly new and us like getting our footing mm -hmm. and trying to get our foot in the door and building the roster. Yeah. You know, people come aboard and they just expect, like management to handle certain things and mm -hmm. it's like no you have to give me the yep. same thing i'm giving you yep. if i'm giving you 50 percent, yeah. i need you to meet me with 50 yep. percent. management is not here to just foot yeah. the bill and just, exactly and just say hey <laughs> you're doing this show yep. this week this week this week you got this show coming yep. like i'm sorry yeah. bro. like this it's shit is really it's an to, investment yeah. on everybody's place it's an investment and a risk and people don't yes. understand that so it's the way i do my management uh, which I think is a lot different from everybody, but I'll explain why. But I charge like a monthly fee, like up front. Yeah. And not only do I manage you, but like I'll do your artwork, I'll do your booking, I'll do a ton of like other shit managers typically don't do. Right, right. Um, but we are also invest in you too. So like typically, like even if I charge you four hundred, I probably end up spending. 400 when, or more right, yeah on that or that. i built relationships and broke bread with people to yeah. even have that kind of relationship yeah. to get you certain opportunities uh but people don't understand that it's it's taking a risk so yeah. you know like you said it, i want you to give me 50 if i give you 50 i give everybody like 200 but because i charge up front 
I, all I ask is like, give me 25% of your effort. Like, yeah, yeah I, right. I want you to be lazy, right. but you'll have to do a few things. I'll tell you what I need you to do. Right, but right. if I just did, and uh, I haven't done it yet, but I probably will with somebody. If I just do like a back end deal where it's only the 20%, then nah, match my 200%. Yeah. We're going to go right, full hard. Right, right. And, right. you know, I'm going to do all this other stuff for you, but I need you to be doing above and beyond exactly. and not just going off. You know, my idea is I need you to get creative, too. Yeah. Uh, I've been there. But Some it's, creative juices flowing. Yeah. <laughs> but it's something about the management thing that, that I think people don't acknowledge or a lot of people don't appreciate enough. It's like it's just having that person in your corner yeah. that believes in you when you don't believe in yourself, that's staying on top of stuff. Like, that's the beauty in management. Like, right. I don't think people. Nah, like, they, they don't see it. <laughs> and, then, and then being a manager and stuff, like. You you really the head of the team. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. So like, you don't want your team to see you sweat. Exactly. Your team can't see you sweat yep. because if they see you sweat, now they sweating. Yep. You know, exactly. Like, now they questioning should yep. they have any faith in you or whatever. You figure it out. You yep. pull through it. You yep. feel what I'm saying? Like, and we be taking L's behind the scenes that people don't yeah, even know about, and like man. be fighting and arguing with people. Like, like, be like bro, real, but like, we doing it out of the best interest of you, and we just want you to. Just do your thing. Don't just, worry about it. I got this. I got this. <laughs> just meet me halfway. Yep. I just need you to do a little just bit of leg up. work. Yep. Show up. Yep. You know, all time. Yep. You feel me? And, and I got you. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Uh, Louis, so uh, where's the career at now? Like, have you dropped projects? Are you building something? You got videos out? So, like, right now, there's, like, a lot going on. So, yep. later tonight, we're actually about to go shoot a music video. For nice. My latest single, 320 AIX. Okay. And then wait, 320 what? <laughs> so it's a 328iX. Okay. It's What's a, that mean? It's a model of a BMW. Dope. A that is a dope yeah. ass creative title. Sad thing about it is last year I actually had the car and mm -hmm. I crashed it in the day. Oh! <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> well, like, right now we're shooting that music video. Here soon I'm gonna drop an EP called the inauguration of 200. Mm -hmm. so just basically like letting go of the past and just moving forward, and then why two hundred? So two hundred is actually the first name, like the first part of the mixtape. Okay, mixtape's called two hundred five, so two hundred okay. slash five hundred. Okay, if you divide that, it equals four. That's my birthday. Oh. <laughs> it was just some shit like that. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep. So you like, get real creative. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So like right now, the inauguration of two hundred is like getting you ready for like that birthday, like yeah. the actual push of me like okay. stepping into this shit. I like that. So like, yeah, that's dope. That's, that's definitely dope. on the way. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's what's in the works right now, and it's it's a pleasure working with Louis because yeah. like at times we do bump heads, but I see Got his to. creativity. Got to. Like I see how he's trying to market and brand himself and yeah. how he's trying to present himself to the world. Yeah. And it's it's very unique, yeah. you know, like because, like I said, it's not too much going on in Iowa. Exactly. But you do have a lot of artists out here. Mm -hmm. And everybody is somewhat doing something yep. of the same. Yep. And I all I can do is respect him for wanting to be different. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's that's what I encourage and what I enforce with Born Legends Management. I tell everybody this is a group home. Yeah. You know, as long as we have that loyalty and that transparency, there's nothing I'm not going to stick beside you. Yeah. For, you know, Ooh, like whatever okay. you want to do, whatever it is, I'll stand by you. Yeah. I'll work with you. Yeah. I'll even foot the bill. Yeah. You get if you have that hunger. Yep. We got to have the same hunger and yep. the same drive for it. If you want me to give you 150 percent. Exactly. Like, I just got to see it. Yeah. But this guy right here, he's a genius. He's yeah. A genius, for yeah. Real. That's dope. That's dope. Dang, so uh, is this the first video that's coming out? Yeah, first one. Because, okay. like, I shot, like, a little, it, I would say, like, um, it was, like, a little Instagram video, but it wasn't anything too, too serious. So, mm -hmm. like, this going to be, like, the first, first one. Okay. Okay. That's Breaking dope. The glass, that's dope. Man. That's the exciting. Glass. That's exciting. You got a uh, target release date? What are we doing, Lex? We thinking about the end of this month. For end real. of this month, okay. Yeah. End of this hey. month, yeah. Definitely dropping that video. It's just it's so much unraveling and so much happening right now. Like yeah. on the twenty fifth, we actually have an event coming up with Y and J, okay, and uh, TikTok influencer uh, Ray Monte. Hey. So he's coming out or whatever. So like we just have so much like building up and yeah. then starting up uh, Voices of the Midwest. 
uh, podcast with my A and R Levi. Like it's just it's a lot. I want to yeah. keep it going. You yeah. know, like we've been we didn't release this single. Everybody got a buzz for it. You yeah. got people singing it and stuff. Let's yeah. give them a video. Yeah. Go ahead, give I them like it. yeah, drop I them like visuals. It. You know, I like it. Let them see what you got to offer and yeah. stuff. You know, and it's just it's gonna be exciting, man. I'm yeah. really excited. Um, because this is like my first my first video yeah. where like I'm behind the scenes and I'm like yeah. being creative with my art. Nice. So, so you get to are you like directing it then or uh you like because yeah. you, you hire <laughs> the shooters but also you'll be right you'll right. have some creative right. input to it. Because we actually like we're born legends, we do things like on a team base. So coming up with the concept for his video, yeah. that was like all a team thing. Nice. Like everybody sat down together and was That's like, so look dude, dude, we think this would be dope. How yeah. you feel about that? Like, yeah. and we got his input, and yeah. that's how we just came up with the whole concept. So, so it dope. it's gonna be very dope to just see it come to life and be yeah. like, wow, bro! Like we actually all put our minds together and yeah. came up with this concept and look at it. That's fire. That's yeah, fire. Man. I'm looking forward to it. It's three twenty a i x. Yeah. So like three two eight i x. Okay. Yep. Okay. Three twenty eight. Three twenty eight i x. That's dope. That's dope. I'm looking forward to checking that out. Definitely, man. So uh, on this podcast, we do something called This or That. Basically what this is is I'm going to ask a question, and you got to give a one-word answer. I may ask you to elaborate, but if I don't, please don't try to elaborate. People be trying to be like, oh, well, both or neither. <laughs> well, because unless I say elaborate, I will. I, 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 if you keep going, I just want one-word answers. We got like 30 questions, so we try to get through them. Uh, I'm going to go back and forth okay. with y'all. And like I said, I may ask you to elaborate. We'll, we'll see. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. All right. Louis, we're going to start with you. What's more important, be humble or prideful? Humble. Lex. Humble. Lex, streams or followers? Streams. Streams. All right. Cheat on your partner or get cheated on? <laughs> get cheated on. <laughs> Louis, gotta pick one. Clock ticking. Be safe. Be safe. <laughs> Look, yeah, this this <laughs> we haven't ruined any relationships yet, but I'm not gonna get, be surprised with somebody bro. Get cheated on. <laughs> get cheated on. <laughs> because of the delay, I will not have you elaborate on that one. I, I was about to. Lex, I'm gonna make you elaborate though. <laughs> uh, why is that the right answer? <laughs> That's the right answer because, you know, like, I love my shorty and I just, you know, uh, like, I just, just cheat on me, okay? We bro, can make it through it. I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know, bro. I'm weak. <laughs> I'm weak. I got to cheat on you. Don't cheat on me. I'm weak. I, I get crazy. I, I ain't. Don't cheat on me, bro. <laughs> like, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. This ain't that. I will be on demon time all the time. Don't play with me. So go be in the bushes. Do, do not right? do not cheat on me. Let me if Ooh. I if I cheat on you, we gonna figure it out. We, I'm just, sorry. I can make it up, but don't, <laughs> don't cheat, on cheat on me. me. That shit just came out of nowhere. It was like simple questions. Yeah, like, that's right. how we do. Yeah, that's like, how we dang, do. That's a, all right. What's more important, who you know or what you know? What you know. I'm going to say who you know. Mm. So I got a quote uh, that goes, um, it's not who you know, it's what you know, but who you know gets you in the room, what you know keeps you there. Yeah. So it, yep. it's I feel like it's, it's equally hand hand. important. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Relationship style. Would you prefer a monogamous relationship or a poly relationship? Monogamy. I'm going to try to sound slow right now, but. What's a poly mean? What is it? Uh, uh, poly is multiple partners. So, uh, like, you got two girls, one guy. Monogamy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like y'all answering politically correct. Yeah. Yeah, let me say the right answer. They, they're going to watch thought this about, episode. I've thought about having that type of relationship, but with me, like, I ain't going to say I'm jealous, but I'm jealous. Like, yeah, what's doing, yours is yours, yeah, huh? we're not doing all that. <laughs> like, you don't want to share. Yeah, man. I've seen those videos where, like, like the other person, the relationship starts falling for the other person yeah. more. And then they like, oh. It's too much. Okay, all right. All right, what's more important, to be honest or preserve the friendship? Honesty. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, would you rather have more friends or business partners? Business partners. Business partners, definitely. <laughs> okay. What's more important, street cred or business rep? B- business. Business rep. Okay. Would you rather have a tough relationship or have it easy being single? Ooh. Tough relationship. I'm the relationship questions mm-hmm. be getting y'all. Right, right. <laughs> and then I got to play back all the answers I just right. gave Right, hey, so. before you drop this episode. Right. So, uh, yeah, Edit out the, from... Uh, I'll take the tough relationships for 200. Yeah. <laughs> Louis. Damn, bro. He gonna be, he gonna be single. I'm gonna just tell you because I know him. He gonna be single. Yeah, bro, I'm... I can do the tough relationship, but like at a point, single. If you could choose yeah, tough single. or easy, we going easy. <laughs> yep. Jordan or LeBron? Jordan. LeBron. Louis, elaborate. Bro. I'm just saying right now, like <laughs> LeBron's doing shit that Jordan couldn't do at his prime. And it may be the time, but like. LeBron all the way, bro. But look at what Jordan did during his time. It was, like, it was crazy. It was a crazy time. But, like, <laughs> bro, I'm right just now, looking at it overall. I'm sorry. I'm looking at Jordan overall, not just yeah. with his basketball career. Like, this man is a trendsetter. Like, but yeah. You can say the same thing for LeBron, too. Like, he mm-hmm. did open up mm-hmm. a school. I don't see no Jordan school here. We got the new Jays, though. <laughs> Right, I, I just caught some 11. Everybody in that school got through right. Jays. Like, I'm just saying, you know, I, you know, it's, hey, me personally, don't get me started on basketball because okay. okay. I'm going to tell you, I think LeBron is like a ball hog. Like, I'm, I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. Okay, all right. We're going to get back to the tough questions for y'all. <laughs> These usually be easy for everybody else. These y'all like, all right, what's the right I'm answer? sweating. I I'm know. Sweating. All right, well, here go another tough one. Uh, when looking for a new partner, do you prefer... A low body count or experience? <laughs> what Cardi say? <laughs> what Cardi say? <laughs> um, I think I want a low low body count. I like mileage. You like mileage? <laughs> I ain't never heard. So, you like mileage? This I like mess, some mileage. This what? I like mileage. I no, nah, I need that low body count. That's because you stingy. <laughs> yeah, I'm stingy, bro. And, but the, at the same time, I'm too old to be trying to teach you some stuff. Like, yeah. I feel yeah. like I'm knocking on 30. You need to come and quit. I like, go you, correct. You need to know what's, and this ain't hard sex. Yeah. It ain't hard. <laughs> you feel me? Like, come on, man. Louie, you got to elaborate. Man. What the hell you mean you like mileage? Bro, I like mileage. Like, not like saying, like, a hundred niggas, but like, <laughs> you know, ninety nine niggas though. Yeah. Is, uh, we can, we can work like with ninety nine. There must be a reason why there's ninety nine. Like, Man, you know what? I've never heard that, you know never heard that answer. <laughs> I was, when that's I say his, his creativity is yeah, out of the world. that's creative. Yeah, like. I like mileage. I might call okay. that the title of the episode. <laughs> right. That's like wild. Mileage. Okay. Like, all, right. <laughs> all right. Do y'all believe, uh, let's see, split bank accounts or shared? Shared. Shared to an extent. I don't know, bro. No, yeah, I, yeah, no, I, 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 I was doing it for you. We talk. go with shared. We go with shared. You said shared. All right, passwords. Should they be private or shared with your partner? Private. Shared. Private. <laughs> Elaborate on sharing passwords, please. You know, honestly, I'm I'm gonna refer it back to the age. I'm getting older, uh-huh. and I just feel like, what am I hiding? Okay. What am I hiding? Sis? And it's what are they hiding? Why you why you need a password? Yeah, like, you know, I got my I know my girl passcode. She know my passcode. Okay. Like, but that trust and that transparency is there. Like she don't never pick up my phone and go through it. Yeah. Okay. She just like never that. do it. She got the passcode. Okay. Yeah, she can if she wants to. Okay. Okay. Patron yeah. or Henny? Ooh, Henny. Patron. All day. Henny. Fight for it. Why? Why oh. Patron over Henny? 
<laughs> to heal it all the way. That's all I gotta say, man. Henny, yeah. Henny. That Henny don't do it for you. Henny. Bro, I don't like dark liquor. Me like, neither. <laughs> Crown a, peach for me, but that, that's about as far as I go. For real, man. Like, you wake up, I hit me some Henny. I'd be like, ooh. I feel Henny like get me in trouble. It, it make me violent. Like, <laughs> angry. I'm angry. I get angry. On that. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm not no drinker. So yeah. anything you put me on, I'm gonna get violent. Okay. Anything. <laughs> L- Louis, I want you to answer this question first, and then we're going to see what, what the management has to say about it. What's more important, shock value or repeat value? Repeat value, all the way. Management? Repeat value. Go ahead and tell them why. I'm just saying, bro, like. I don't know. We I just feel like we just got to keep it coming. We just got to keep it circling. I like it. We got to keep it circling. I like it. Consistency yeah, is key. Yeah, it's key. You, know, <laughs> you, you going to hear it over and over, and you going to know who he is. Yeah. Like, I have heard it a thousand times. I know. Where is this man at? <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is, this is the time to sweat. This is the most important question. We're about halfway through, and I like to put this one in so I can determine how our friendship is going to go moving forward. Oh. Y'all ready? <laughs> Not how the friendship is. Sweat now, because it's serious. <laughs> Poncheros or Chipotle? Chipotle. No. Chipotle. Wrong answer. Chipotle. I, I need, where, where, my, where my sound effects? The, the crickets? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Louie, I, I want to like you, bro. What, what's the right answer? This one's so hard. <laughs> it should not be I... difficult. Because, like. Chipotle do got those bowls. Bro. And that's all I get. <sighs> and then when I go to Poncheros and get the bowls, it's not the same. No, bro. don't get the bowl, but the burrito. The burrito, Poncheros. Yeah, we're going burrito, Poncheros. <laughs> but you got to remember, you gotta I'm be- from the A. <laughs> okay. In Atlanta, it's Chipotle. We don't, they- yeah, y'all, we didn't even have a Poncheros. No. Like, is Poncheros like Iowa or Midwest or something? I think so. I, I never heard of Poncheros until I came got out here. here. Yeah. And then I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, what is this fake ass Chipotle? Yeah. <laughs> It's weird, bro. Y'all, I was do everything. <laughs> How y'all spell Chipotle wrong? For real, like, shit be pissing me off. All right, I, I guess I understand. I understand. All right, um, this one, this one I like, and we'll, we'll keep with the funny here. Dave Chappelle or Eddie Murphy? Mm. Eddie. Chappelle. And I feel like it's the age. The, the age gave y'all them answers, because... We we up there, so we yeah. we we saw Eddie, Eddie do yeah. some great shit. But Chappelle is killing shit yeah. right now. Yeah. Like, so if I if I was in your era, yeah, it, it would be Chappelle. You easy. ain't even asked me the right ones for real because oh, we got more, oh, we got more. Hold on, I ain't tell you that right yet. <laughs> we gonna keep going with this. So the next one is Jamie Foxx or Will Smith. Will. That was a quick Will. 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 I need you to elaborate. That was a very quick will. That was will, a no will brainer is for you. Phenomenal. Like will is fun. You can look. Will is funny looking. Mm, like you can look facts, at will and facts. just laugh. And he like, might just smack a nigga. You right. never know. Like he's just unpredictable <laughs> like, and funny like and can be serious. Jamie. Jamie has like underlying humor mm-hmm. to me. Like okay. I feel like his humor is kind of. It can be very forefront, mm-hmm. but for the most part, I I always think his humor is like underlined. Whereas with Will, he coming out the gate okay. cracking them jokes. Like, How you feel about that, Louis? Bro, I just gotta say, like Jamie, if like you look at it, humor wise, Jamie. But like fashion wise, that man was putting that shit on. Well, <laughs> well, I, I never thought about fashion. I, yeah. I think of, I think of like movies and then music. Yeah. Like is why I picked Jamie. Okay, like, music wise, Jamie. Shit, fire. Jamie, yeah. fire. Yes. Bro, yes. Like, he just I, I do slide. think Will might have sold more records though. I if think we talk so. about music with I, with summertime and uh, I just Parents feel like understand. everybody's always viewed Will as a. A comedian, yeah. yeah, a funny, yeah. a funny guy, yeah. you know, like so. It's kind of okay. hard, kind of like DC Young Fly. Yeah, he's so talented. Dude mm-hmm. can sing out the ass, yeah. but when you look at him, are you think about his oh, ugly ass? Yeah, boy, yeah. Like, you, you just, <laughs> it's hard to grasp that concept of them being artists. Exactly. Agreed. Agreed. All right, one more comedy one here. Cat Williams or Kevin Hart? Kevin Hart all day. Yeah. That's my Real dad. Real quick. That's Real my dad. quick. <laughs> That's my dad all day. <laughs> Philly in the building. For real, man. Kevin, Cat, don't get me wrong now. Cat be going off the hinges, but. Man, Cat be. Cat be doing some shit. Yeah. 
All right, this is a good one for y'all. What do you prefer, over plan or go with the flow? I'm going to let you go ahead on that one. What you <laughs> this is a test. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say go with the flow. But over planned is the way. Nah, yeah. but go you go, go with go the flow. flow. All right, all right. I'm going to over plan. Yeah. I'm going to over plan. That's me. Like, I, I got to make sure everything right. Yeah. No fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Shit, well, we, we learned that like two weeks ago. She's like, uh, uh, I text you. You ain't respond right away. We wasn't about to make that drive. And yeah, then, yeah. no. I, I feel make you. Sure. We not finna look yeah. at these cows for two hours and then you don't answer the phone. We, we passed it. We passed it twice just getting here. Yeah. Because it was dumped off. And I'm like, see? See? That's why I had to That's make sure. I overplayed. You, yeah, man. We, we, we hit 30 walking. minutes early. Yeah. <laughs> for real. We have communicated the day of, the day before, the week before. And I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to run. <laughs> some of that, you know, over planning off on him. I see, you know. I see it. All right, uh, text or phone call? Phone call. Phone call. I need y'all to elaborate because I'm the biggest texter. I try to avoid phone calls like the plague. I mean, I'll I'll text, but sometimes like I can't get my message across, and you know, people yeah, interpret things Facts. differently through text messages. Yep. And the type of person I am, I want you to feel how I feel, okay. what I'm talking about. Okay, like, okay. When I'm talking, you need to hear my passion. Yeah, I can't like just I type need out you, very nah, passionately. Yeah, like. <laughs> you know, you can't understand what I'm going through when I'm yeah. expressing what I'm expressing. So yeah. I'd rather call you. Okay. Let's Espe chop it up. Especially, like, when I'm trying to get shit done, like, I'm trying to get done now. Yeah, like, you I need, need an answer. Yeah. Pick up the phone. All okay. that texting and them bubbles. Yeah. And doing Waiting and all that shit, man. Come on, man. Yes or no? Hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello. Get the baby off the phone. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm interested to hear y'all answers on this. Kanye or Jay-Z? Can I do a neither? You got to pick one. I got to. Got to keep one. The other one can die. <laughs> we ain't going to say that. Then the other I guess one can I, go away. I'll go with Ye. I'll okay. go with Ye. <laughs> Magna Carta was just so hard and like all his projects. I, I mean, he really Jay don't. I mean, yeah, Ye's only missed a couple times with me on albums, but the ones where he hit, I feel like he really hit. Yeah, I don't feel like Jay's missed really, but who's? I mean, it's like who's had the bigger impact? Yeah. Who's more relevant? Mm -hmm. Like, where you going with? We're gonna go with yeah. Jay ain't, Jay ain't tried to be the president yet. So <laughs> I, just, I feel yeah. like if he tried, though, yeah. he definitely would I'm get it like, easily. We're going with Ye because of his creativity, yeah. his creativity all around the board. I really don't like him, though. <laughs> I, I'm just being honest. Like, I don't, people be like, oh, let's play that Kanye. Bro, do not play that nigga in my house. Bro. Like, he is forbidden. Yeah, like, he's he kind of weird. He just be doing weird shit, but... Right. You know, I think it's all marketing. It's like, I, I yeah, don't think he's yeah, crazy. He, I think he's a genius at marketing. Bro. He knows how to stay relevant and part of everybody's everyday conversation. He just, and he'll do whatever to do it. He be dogging his wife out he like dogging, that. Yeah. That should be everything. killing me. Like that, just be like, damn, bro. <laughs> he's fucking ridiculous. All right, uh, L.A. or New York? New York. New York. New York. Y'all East Coasters. Yeah. <laughs> Windows or Mac? Mm, Mac. Windows. I yeah. almost, yeah, elaborate. I'm sorry. I'm such a bad guy. I need to know, know cause like, why anything else is chosen. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's unacceptable. Because, yeah. like, Mac, because, like, look, I was a kid who was, like, on the computer all the time. Yeah. So, like, for, like, doing shit, like, Windows all the way, like. Really? More. Mac is just, like, you know. It's good, but like if you talk to <laughs> any right. computer guy, they're gonna be like, Windows, don't don't even like try wow. to fight it. Wow. I think Mac just be having too much like technical errors and shit. It's really? just it's I just... feel like that's with Windows. I feel like Windows can be hacked. It, it, it's yeah. Mac is simple, gets it's productive. I, I've got a Mac I've been using the same Mac for about fifteen years. I bought newer ones and right. I still come back to this one that's like fifteen years old and it's phenomenal still. Well, like but, like, the thing about it, though, like, with Mac, once they update their shit, you're never going to be able to go back to that That's old right. Mac. Like, That's Windows, right. like, all their versions are still there. You can That's go true. download okay. it on your computer and take you back to 98 on some okay. shit. Okay. All right. All right. That's okay. legit. All right. That's yeah, a good yeah, little yeah, reasoning little right point. there. Right. He got his little facts. All right. I hope y'all know a little bit about wrestling because this next one is Stone Cold or The Rock. Stone, Stone Cold. Cold. Dang. With a quickness. Yeah. Y'all let my boy. 
I, Dwayne I, down. I, I like Dwayne, <laughs> but you know. I, <laughs> All right. Um, I'm interested in the answers on this one. Since it was Windows and Mac, iPhone or Android? iPhone. iPhone. Real quick. iPhone. You you, you like that oh, little Mac go, device, yeah, huh? Go you like the little Mac, Mac device <laughs> real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for that question. I knew it was in there somewhere. All right. Uh, let's see if y'all know y'all movies. Johnny Depp or Robert Downey Jr.? Robert Downey Jr. Johnny. Elaborate. Johnny. John. Edward Scissorhands? Yeah, right? Classic. Man. Super classic. Man. And then, like, just Willy Wonka, just all the he's movies. He's a nut. He, he's just The, the damn a pirate, genius. bro. He, yeah, is, like, he is a character he, in everything. Just, come on, man. The guy is amazing. But, but Robert Downey Jr. played a dope-ass black dude one time. <laughs> <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> like, <laughs> we yeah, should have been offended, you know, but he did such he, a damn good did. job. <laughs> that Edward Scissorhands, man. That's going for I could always that, go back that's, and that's just timeless. watch that, that movie. That movie is timeless. Johnny Depp all okay. day, man. All right. Do or die or bone thugs? Bone thugs. Bone thugs. You young. You better know him. He probably don't I know, even. <laughs> I know bone thugs, but I've never heard of do or die. Oh, so we got we to gotta educate him. Yeah. We're going we gonna to let you have bone thugs, but we're going to show you some shit once you hear this. Uh, do you? Bro, <laughs> that shit's so fire. When you hear this, they do it a little bit better than me, but <laughs> it's fire, I promise. All right, uh, Twister or Tech Nine? Twister. 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 Uh, what's more important to have, education or field experience? Education. I'm going to say field experience. Go ahead and elaborate on that. So, like, with me, I do. I did sales for a while. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, like, I don't know. Some Like, the thing about sales is, like, with sales, that's like a one-year college course. Like, you're learning yeah. a lot. <laughs> Big facts. So it's like Big you're still facts. getting education and you're yep, on from the From experience. Field. Yeah. Exactly. Like, and, like, with the way how time's moving now, like, mm -hmm. you can know some shit, but if you can sit can there and learn on the spot and, yep. and, and, and evolve yeah. as things evolve, I like that. That's a great answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Next one we got is uh, Nelly or Ludacris? It's Luda. Nelly. Come on, man. Elaborate on Luda. Come on. Luda just changed the game. Like, <laughs> and his flow, like, can't nobody rap like Luda. Like, you Facts. just, you can't, Facts. can't nobody yeah. do that. Facts. Can't nobody do no DTP. Y'all yeah. can't, <laughs> y'all can't, y'all can't fuck with Nelly Luda. Nelly had bro. the St. Lunatics. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, Dr. Dre or Timberland. Ooh. I'm gonna have to go with Dre. I'm not. And I don't want to. I want to go back. <laughs> I'm going to say Timberlake. Timberlake. Oh. You going Timberlake. Timberlake? Okay, okay. Uh, Justin Timberlake or Bruno Mars? Justin. Yeah. Justin all day. Okay. What's more important? I'm going to have Louie answer this first, and I want the management perspective. Punctuality or perfection? <laughs> She's going to hate this one. <laughs> perfection all the way. <laughs> Punctuality. Y'all got to laugh. Have it out. Have it out. Why you think perfection? <laughs> yeah. Bro, why, 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 why you think perfection? That disappointed more, ass look. You why, why you think perfection oh, is more important me. than punch? You think that perfection going to matter if your ass ain't on time? <laughs> if you are not on time, if that punctuality is not there, you think, the them, you think them people going to want to work with you? You can't even show up to a meeting on time. They don't want to hear about that. I, I think it's an artist thing because no. I, I also feel that it's perfection. Like, like bro, because at the end of the day, if you make something like so beautiful, so mm -hmm. perfect. People are gonna Except love that you. He was for late. That. <laughs> they yeah. gonna understand that he was gonna, late. They gonna but like, look how it. beautiful it is. <laughs> that, <laughs> right. That's. I'm that's, gonna be on time, but it ain't done. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly. Like you come there on time, you're not doing shit. But like, I come five minutes late, and I got something beautiful. Like, come on. I you mean, can't. Uh, I, I understand his reasoning to a default, but I'm just like, dude, clean up the time. Okay, okay, that's funny. <laughs> All right, um, Chris Brown or Drake? Breezy. <laughs> Chris, 
shouldn't have beat Rihanna up, so we gotta go with gotta Drake. Go with Drake, man. Come gotta on, go with man. Drizzy. Now, anybody that know me know I'm a diehard Chris Brown fan. <laughs> we not finna do that. You not finna get on my boy. We, Chris. we don't know what she said to him that day. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. You don't know. I, I'm still digging into that story. Uh, we go. I'm still digging into that One day it's gonna come out. Because I heard she was topping Jay Z off in the closet. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of things. You feel me? So uh, you gotta give Chris a break on that one. Oh uh, well, since we talk about Riri, Beyonce or Rihanna? Riri. Yeah, Rihanna. Real quick like Riri, that? Yeah. yeah, like, I feel like... Over the queen? That And, and that's the why. Queen, no. It's just like, she the queen, but is she really the queen? <laughs> like, no. You, you know, like, you the queen, but are Who you really her? the queen? <laughs> Who crowned her? <laughs> because a lot of the queen antics or the, like, the queen mannerism, uh, like, you've acquired that from a lot of, like, great up-and-coming artists. Okay. So can you really say that Ooh. you're the queen and you've done all this Ooh. on your own? Because a lot of her multi-platinum selling uh, records or mm. albums mm. were written by some of uh, these the artists that we okay. don't even pay attention to. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, <laughs> Rihanna touched the B by herself. Yeah, right. by herself. There was no Destiny's Child. There, there was no. There was nothing. There was. She ain't it was just Jay-Z. straight from Barbados. ASAP Rocky yeah. definitely leveled up himself. It right. wasn't a level it, up for her. Exactly. She like, could have any man Riri, on the planet. I wish she would come back out with another album. You <laughs> yeah, know, like right. at least with Rihanna, we can download her shit. We can't even download Beyonce shit. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go to tired. their. We gotta use their app. We have yeah. to use their app. Like, gotta, come on. I you gotta sign up and subscribe and blood. I thought y'all was making music for the fans. <laughs> At this point, it seemed like a cult. Oh, facts. Yeah, facts. I, I can't I mean, get with that, nah. man. All right, we got one last question. Would you rather deal with a smart ass or deal with a dumb ass? <laughs> oh. Um, I will allow y'all to elaborate. <laughs> y'all take your time with this. I got to. I see him weighing out. He's literally weighing out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'd rather deal with a smart ass. Yeah, smart ass. I'd rather deal with a smart ass because, like, my patience, <laughs> my patience is, it, and this is something I'm praying to God about. Uh, I'm working this, on it. Huh? I'm working on it, but my patience is so thin. Like, I have a no tolerance for stupidity. All that, huh? And all, like, what? Like, get your, if you get your Forrest Gump ass out of here, like, I ain't with all that I ain't with that, bro. Lou? Sorry. Yeah, smart ass too. I be doing dumb shit, but like, <laughs> <laughs> we both can't be. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but like, bro, there's levels to it because like people be doing some shit that be like, bro, yeah, come on, like nah, yeah. like yeah. there's your... levels to dumbassery. Yeah, like yeah, where's you can't your be, common? You can't never go full dumbass. Come yeah. on, now. Yeah, we, can't, we can't. I deal with a smart ass all day because at least you could tell that nigga like. <laughs> Back, all right, yeah. bro, you yeah. right, but back up. Get out my face. Shut your face. smart ass yeah, up. Yeah. No, no. Dumbass niggas, though, you be like, bro. And they still be in front of you like, huh? Oh. Like, what? <laughs> the fuck? Go. Oh, man. That was dope. That, that was one of my favorites. All right, y'all. This has been another episode of Talking Top Tier. Louis Lex, where can they find y'all more legends in the building? So, L-U-I-M-I-D, that's the Instagram. That's all platforms. What's the M-I-D for? Mid. <laughs> but you're not giving them mid. This is high grade. I feel like that's hey. misleading. Hey, I'm, nah, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give y'all some Tom, mid. Tom no. Tom got a point on that one. <laughs> we we got we to gotta change that using yeah. mid. <laughs> he thought about mid. that. He like, hold on, bro. Hold on. I'm not mid. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, Midwest. That's there we the, go. There we go. Yeah. All right, now it's acceptable. All right. Y'all go ahead and follow Midwest, me on IG at Lex. Two Roo, that's okay. Lex, number two Roo. Go ahead and follow the platform at Born to Be Legends. Born to, number two, be legends. Nice. All right, that's y'all. It. Another episode of Talking Top Tier, Lex and Louie. Uh, we're going to link again. I think I'm going to be at the uh, Des Moines show March 25th. Okay, okay. And then we got April 8th in Davenport. You already killed it in Des Moines. We taking this statewide, then we yeah. gonna go across the Midwest, oh, yeah. then we gonna go worldwide. We Definitely. gotta do some more T One Born Legends connections, you of know, course, make some course. things happen. But yeah, thank y'all for being here, and uh, this has been another episode of Talking Top Tier. Alrighty, T One, let's get it. <laughs>